Hello everyone, the Amplified here, back with another video guiding Mir4 Online. Now today, we're going to talk about the six basic features in Mir4 that many players still don't know. Now, these may be just common features to other players, but there are still some players, even the high level ones, that are still not familiar with these features. Before we continue with the video, I'm just curious. Are you guys also having problems with lag or high latency when playing online games? I have high speed internet connection but I'm still getting a red or yellow ping when playing online games like Mir4 until I started using No Ping. No Ping is a high performance latency reduction software that will help you eliminate lag or high latency problems when playing online games. So whether you love playing MMORPG, FPS, or strategy games, no ping will give you a smooth gaming experience. So now is the best time for you to take advantage of the low-cost monthly packages because I'll give you a 20% discount if you use my code EAMPLIFIED. But if you want to try it out first, then you can try no ping for 7 days free. All you have to do is visit their website and register for a new account. I will post the discount code and their website link in the description. Also, I'll give out 10 free 7-day code to 10 random viewers. All you have to do is sub subscribe on this channel and comment no ping. So let's go ahead and continue with the video. Okay, so first in our list is the uh, party auto follow. When you're in a team or in a party and you need to change map to complete a series of mission, there is a way where you can auto follow to your party leader. All you have to do is go to your combat setting, then turn on your party leader centered battle and party target sharing. So it will now auto follow to your party leader if you activate the auto attack. So this is helpful if you just want to stay AFK or in auto until you finish your mission. Number two is chat transparency. There are a lot of victims of chat kill. It means you died because you were chatting and didn't know what's happening in your screen. So to avoid this, you can reduce the opacity or transparency of your chat window so you can see what's happening in the background. All you have to do is go to your chat settings, then opacity, and this is the default percentage here. So if it's 100%, you won't be able to see your character in the background. So you have to reduce the opacity either 90, 80, 70, 60, or 50. So let's go ahead and try 50%. So as you can see, I am now able to see the background while opening my chat window. So I can see my character here even if I'm chatting in party chat or clan chat. Number three, reset death resurrection timer. When you always die in clan expedition or challenge, your death cooldown timer gets longer depending on how many times you died. There is a way where you can reset the timer. All you have to do is exit and join again. This is helpful if your clan is doing a first clear in either a clan expedition or a clan challenge. Number 4. Clan Donation Logs Some players are still using their receipt info to track their clan donation. So this is where they usually track their donation. So here is the receipt info. And there is a better way and 
and accurate way for you to track all your donations not just your donation but also your members donation you just have to go to donate and donation logs so you can either check the daily log or weekly log number five unstuck if you are stuck in a congested area and there's no way to move you can go to unstuck and you'll be teleported to the nearest safe zone so just go here and then unstuck you can also use this if you ran out of teleport or jump scrolls so as you can see i was teleported to the main town and there is a cooldown when you use this for 10 minutes cooldown number six event npc crafting there is an npc in every main town where you can craft rare items by using your free materials that you can just get from time limited events and it's for free so this is the npc right here this is in bichun castle this is guan choyong and when you go to this npc go to end of year event so this is a dragon material summon box so this is uh, like a summon box for gears or weapon and then this is for uh, skills this is for spirit so the requirement is bell of wishes so i think this was um it just recently ended so uh, you can actually get Bell of Wishes just by collecting like a Letter of Wishes that you can get from monsters. So you can craft it here. And there's a chance you'll get 1, 3, 4, 7, or 10 Spirit Stone Summon Tickets. And that's for free. So that's the end of our video. I hope I was able to provide helpful tips especially to new players. And again guys, please don't forget to check noping.com. Thank you very much for watching.